Thursday night, Shari's off. Christy Lotto is joining us. And we begin with details on a suspect in custody following a string of violent attacks against multiple women in Philadelphia and at least one in Montgomery County. Action News reporter Jillian Mealy is live at Special Victims in Hunting Park with what we know so far about the suspect and his re relationship to the victims. Jillian? And and I got to tell you, this was quick and this was good police work. Five violent attacks against women, plus one disturbing sexual assault, all in about a 12 hour span, all completely random. A 35 year old man from New York with no apparent ties to Philadelphia now connected to all of them by police. And right now, there is no motive. Just moments ago, I spoke with one of the alleged victims over the phone. The last week has had its ups and downs. Confusion, frustration, anger, sadness. But Erica says she was also filled with hope that she would get justice. She was attacked last week on Thursday morning on the 900 block of Jolly Road in Whitpain Township, allegedly by this man, 35 year old Malcolm White. He was taken into custody a short time later. But I will tell you, I am so proud and so I feel so fortunate um, to work in a township that had a police force that that acted so rapidly and so thoroughly. Police then connected White to five other alleged assaults, one of them a sexual assault. He's a violent offender. There's no doubt about it. He, he's a bad guy. He had my feet, my ankles in his hands, dragging me down the pavement. Noelle LaCorey was attacked last week on Wednesday night, shortly before midnight on the 1900 block of South 13th Street in South Philadelphia. Minutes before she was attacked, three other women were beaten as they were walking on Morris Street near 13th. The next morning, police tell us White allegedly sexually assaulted a woman where she worked along Ridge Avenue in Roxborough. Approached her in the vestibule, punched her in the face, knocked her down and assaulted her. Uh, took her, per her pocketbook, removed money from her pocketbook, and fled the area on foot. Police say White was released from a correctional facility in New York State in January of this year and has a lengthy criminal history there. None of us think we're going to be the victim, yet it happened to me, and I thought I was the last person that this would ever happen to. Watch your surroundings. Now, White was arrested in Whitpain Township, Montgomery County. He was brought to Philadelphia yesterday where he was charged in all of the cases here. He has a criminal history in New York that is quite lengthy. That includes drug, weapons and assault charges. Erica, one of the alleged victims in Whitpain Township, who you just heard from, said she wants everyone to be completely aware of your surroundings at all time. That's why she's sharing her message and she wants you to share it, too. Now, just to recap, this was good and quick police work. Five violent attacks against women plus one violent sexual assault. This all happened in about a 12 hour span, all completely random. And this man has no alleged ties to Philadelphia. And right now there is no motive. We will keep you updated on any new information we get. For now, reporting live at Special Victims Unit, I'm Jillian Mealy, Channel 6 Action News. Back to you.